Hello, and welcome to another GEMDS training video. In this video, we will be covering GRE tunnel and bonding interface configuration via the CLI for the use of automatic interface failover and failback. Before we dive into the configuration, let's cover some of the basics. Let's say that we have a network of Orbit MCR 900s as shown, and something happens to the link between the AP and one of the remotes. Normally you would lose contact with that remote until the link was restored. However, with the failover functionality, this is no longer the case. In the event that the 900 link goes down, the orbit will automatically start sending traffic over the cellular interface. Once the 900 link is restored, the orbit will then resume sending traffic over that link. Now we'll cover the basic settings that are required within the orbit MCR. All interfaces need to be configured and operational. This includes the bridge interface, the 900 MHz interface, and the cell interface. The firewall needs to be configured for VPN over IPsec. This includes modifying and creating address sets, modifying the default in and out untrusted rules, and modifying the default NAT rule. The VPN service needs to be configured. Note that this will only be briefly covered. For more information, please see our other videos on this topic. To configure failover on the AP, we need to create a local loopback interface, create a GRE tunnel, and then add the GRE tunnel to the bridge. To configure failover on the remote, we need to create a local loopback interface, create a GRE tunnel, then delete the NX radio from the bridge, then create a bond interface with the NX radio and GRE tunnel as members, and then add the bond interface to the bridge. First, let's take a look at configuring the AP. Note that for this video, we will be skipping step 1, 2, and 3. We will assume that your bridge, 900 MHz, and cell interfaces have been configured and are operational. We will also be assuming that you have an IPsec tunnel established between the remote and the AP over the cell link. If you have not done this yet, or need instructions on this topic, please see our IPsec videos first. After logging into the AP, type configure to go to the configuration prompt. The first thing we need to do is create a local loopback interface to be used by the GRE tunnel. In this example, we will use 172.16.1.1 on the AP and 172.16.1.2 on the remote. To do this, type set interfaces interface L01 type loopback, where L01 is just the name of your loopback interface. Then we will give it the IP address set interfaces interface L01 IPv4 address 172.16.1.1 then prefix length 32. Lastly to allow traffic in and out of the interface we'll set the firewall filter to trusted by typing set interfaces interface L01 filter input in trusted then output out trusted. Next we'll create the GRE tunnel. To do this type set interfaces interface GRE1 type GRE where GRE1 is the name of the GRE interface. To set the GRE mode we will enter set interfaces interface GRE1 GRE config mode ethernet over GRE. Next we will give the source and destination address of the tunnel. In this case we are on the AP so we will type set interfaces interface GRE1 GRE config source address 172.16.1.1 then set interfaces interface GRE1 GRE config destination address 172.16.1.2 and again to allow traffic we will trust the interface set interfaces interface GRE1 filter input in trusted output out trusted now that the GRE tunnel and local loopback interface has been configured we need to add the GRE tunnel to the bridge. We'll type set interfaces interface bridge bridge settings member port GRE1. Next we need to modify the IPsec connections local and remote IP subnets. To do this type set services VPN IPsec connection orbit GRE where that's just the name of your connection then local IP subnet 172.16.1.1 forward slash 32 and then set services VPN IPsec connection orbit GRE remote IP subnets 
172.16.1.2 forward slash 32. The AP is now configured. To commit the changes we've made on the AP, type commit and then press enter. As previously mentioned, the remote configuration is very similar. Again, for the sake of time, we'll assume that steps 1 through 3 have already been completed. Just like we did on the AP, the first thing we need to do is create a local loopback interface to be used by the GRE tunnel. To do this, type set interfaces interface LO1 type loopback. Then we'll give it the IP address set interfaces interface LO1 IPv4 address 172.16.1.2, then prefix length 32. Lastly, to allow traffic in and out of the interface, we'll set the firewall filter to trusted by typing set interfaces interface LO1 filter input in trusted output out trusted. Next we'll create the GRE tunnel. To do this type set interfaces interface GRE1 type GRE. To set the GRE mode we'll enter set interfaces interface GRE1 GRE config mode Ethernet over GRE. Next we'll give the source and destination address. In this case we run the remote so we'll type set interfaces interface GRE1 GRE config source address 172.16.1.2 then set interfaces interface GRE1 GRE config destination address 172.16.1.1 and again to allow traffic we'll trust the interface by typing set interfaces interface GRE1 filter input in trusted output out trusted now we will need to delete the NX radio from the bridge so that it can be added to the bond interface we are about to create. We will type delete interfaces interface bridge bridge settings members port NX radio. To create the bond interface and add the NX radio and the GRE tunnel to it we will enter set interfaces interface B1 where B1 is just the name then type bond then set interfaces interface B1 bond config mode active backup. And to add the interfaces, we'll use the command set interfaces interface B1 bond config member NX radio. And then set interfaces interface B1 bond config member GRE1. To set the NX radio as the primary interface, we'll type set interfaces interface B1 bond config primary member NX radio. Now we need to add the bond interface to the bridge by typing set interfaces interface bridge bridge settings members port B1. Next we need to modify the IPsec connections local and remote IP subnets. To do this type set services VPN IPsec connection orbit GRE local IP subnet 172.16.1.2 forward slash 32. And then set services VPN IPsec connection orbit GRE remote IP subnets 172.16.1.1 forward slash 32. To commit these changes, type commit and then press enter. Now that we have configured the AP and remote, let's do a simple test. I have a laptop connected to the Ethernet port of the AP, which is pinging another laptop connected to the Ethernet port of the remote. Currently the pings are going over the 900 MHz interface. Watch what happens when I cause the 900 MHz interface to drop connection. As you can see, the ping times went from a few milliseconds up to a little over 300 milliseconds. And in the reverse, if I cause the 900 MHz interface to reconnect, the ping times return to where they were before. 
This concludes our video on GRE tunnel and bonding interface configuration. Thank you for watching another GEMDS training video. For more information, please see our other videos and visit our website at GEMDS.com.